Right. Uh, as you know, living here in Arizona, one thing that is common are snakes and uh, scorpions and that sort of thing. And uh, what do you do if you get bit? Well, uh, Dr. John Schufeld is the medical director from Native Air Ambulance, and he has the answer for us. So, as I mentioned, John Wayne would just cut the skin and pull just out the tobacco it. and or suck it, put the tobacco on there, but you don't do that, do you? You don't do that anymore. That was more in the uh, John Wayne days. Uh, actually, what I thought we'd talk about is snakes and then scorpions. We have some time to do a couple of different spiders. Sure. sure. Um, start with rattlesnakes. Uh, I think we have a picture of rattlesnakes uh, for you on the website here in a second. One way to the right is a rattlesnake. We've all seen rattlesnakes in Arizona, um, Scott, and you know if you're hiking or running, they can kind of leap out after nowhere. The interesting thing about them is if a, they can jump or move about half their whole length. So mm -hmm. for the seven foot long snake, it can kind of coil and go about three and a half feet. Yeah. So they can definitely strike you. I see a lot of people in the emergency department that get bit by rattlesnakes, and the vast, vast majority of them do really well. However, a couple things to note. You do need to be seen by somebody. Yeah. You absolutely have to go into the emergency department to be seen for this because the rattlesnake bite can have a lot of toxins in it. It can actually cause limb necrosis. People's limbs swell up, the blood supply gets cut off, and actually people even lose their limb from rattlesnake bites. Wow. So it's one of those things, remain calm, definitely take off loose, take off constricting articles of clothing and, and head out into the emergency department. Do you need to, like if you got uh, hit on the ankle, do you need to keep the foot up? Does it, that matter? Exactly. They want you to keep the foot up uh, before you come in, but getting in as quick as possible is But you can walk, crucial. right? You absolutely can walk, yeah. and sometimes you have to walk. What yeah. you don't want to do is make the incision, suck out the poison, you know, do the old John Wayne thing. It's not going to do it. It's not going to work, and you'll be, you know, somebody will be stabbing you trying yeah. to do it. <laughs> Um, scorpions, everybody has probably been bitten or at least seen them. Uh, they hurt like heck. And the, the good news, however, is though, unless you're elderly or small children, there's really not a lot of problems to it other than it causes a lot of pain. Uh, things you can do at home, Advil, Benadryl, definitely help. Uh, the pain lasts for 6 to 12 hours, typically. Is that right? Is they, it like you know, a bee sting or much worse? Well, it, I think people describe it hurting a lot worse than bee stings, uh, and it definitely hurts. But we treat people with uh, over-the-counter uh, analgesics like Advil or Tylenol. They definitely get Benadryl. You can put some ice on them. I'll tell you what. Those things scare the heck. I'm not scared of snakes at all, but scorpions and spiders scare the heck out of they, me. They absolutely. They look ugly, and it hurts when you get bit. So moving right down the uh, website, talk about uh, brown recluse uh, spider bites. Um, they're another one that's kind of indigenous to Arizona, and those are the ones that are kind of the worst in the sense that um, that actually looks like a black that's widow. A black widow Let's yeah. talk about black widows. Black widow uh, has some neurotoxins. When it bites you, you get a lot of muscle damage and muscle spasm around yeah. the side of the bite. Another one which probably head into the emergency department because we can treat you with some what's called calcium gluconate and inject it around the bite, and you're really, it's almost instantaneous relief. It's pretty cool because they walk in in pain and they walk out thinking, hey, oh, not a great. problem. Um, and that, then, that brown recluse, back to that, uh, doesn't your skin, it, it gets eaten away, doesn't that's, it? That's the problem with brown recluse spider bites. One, there's no real treatment for them. And they look pretty innocuous, two little small puncture wounds. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, you get this red in area, and then a whitish area, then underneath that's this big ulcer. And people actually have to get skin grafted for them. Is that right? They wow. are a problem. Well, that is no fun. So, uh, you know, obviously, if you see a rattlesnake, stay away from it. Yeah, just, absolutely. Just walk the other way. Uh, if they go to nextcare.com, they can uh, learn all about this. There's about five pages on, uh, under the Channel 3 heading. All right, nextcare.com. There's the website. John, thank you very much. Thank we you. appreciate good it. You. It's always good seeing you, too. Okay, big boy, we'll catch you later. I'm going to settle on out of here. All right, Marty, have you ever been bitten by anything like uh, that? No. Can't now, you're, that you're terrified of snakes. You're like my mom. Terrified is an understatement. Yeah. Clearly. But, but what no. about spiders and scorpions? Not a big fan of spiders and even less of scorpions. I've, we found a couple of scorpions around the house. I think everybody has. Yeah, they're everywhere. They cover. really are, but yeah. man, they're wicked looking. I know. I, I, I hope that it never happens to my baby, Kate, because you hear about babies getting stung all the right. time. Why is that? Well, I think, you know, they're basically defenseless. They lay there and some scorpion walks up and stings them. And yeah. actually, babies, it was described as a kid flipping around on a hot griddle. Really? Is what they look like. They absolutely really? just go crazy. And the first time you see it, it's mind-boggling. Well, hopefully that won't ever that happen. Night. She's well-guarded. Because she, you know why? You know why that's ever going to happen? Because she's...